Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This was a highly requested video. I'm going to be taking you guys with me to Walmart and doing like a cheap grocery shop. It's gonna be all healthy food. A lot of people struggle with eating healthy and also being on a budget. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in this video. Tell me how I just got a cappuccino from Starbucks and completely forgot to tell them to add Splenda. So now, my coffee is Splenda free and it tastes absolutely disgusting. And I don't have any Splenda just handy in my car, you know? Do you? And you probably don't. Also, please excuse this disaster of hair. I was walking my pup and she decided to take me straight through a giant spider web. And as I crawl out of the bushes, I see this big black thing like on the top of my head area and I have arachnophobia it's, it's like literally a fear of spiders I used to have nightmares of them so now I just feel like I feel it every second even though I shook my head like I was a mad person for quite a while but if you just see something like crawling on me I really wish this was live so you could tell me because I'm gonna freak out if there's a spider on me at any point. Anyways, despite this hec hectic, despite this hectic morning, we are on our way to do a grocery shop, which makes me very happy because I have this weird thing about grocery shopping where it just makes me extremely happy. So usually i go to trader joe's to do my grocery shopping but because there's not as many of them i'm going to do this at walmart and hopefully it will help more of you guys out by doing it here because i know in my area there's only one in tampa and st pete so yeah i'm going to the walmart it's called like a neighborhood market and it's actually like more designed around food so it actually has a really good selection i'm gonna try and make this really cheap because Christmas was just a few days ago and obviously most people aren't super rich after Christmas so uh, we're just gonna try and make this cheap. My fridge is extremely empty and I've been eating trail mix and watermelon for dinner the past few days. This coffee is disgusting. There's a few things that I'm not gonna be getting because I already have them at home so yeah, I'm just going to take you guys with me, but I'm going to like record as I pick up and then I'll like record my cart and stuff. And then when I get home, I'll show you everything that I got so you can see and I'll explain why I got them. I still have this giant fear that I'm gonna walk in there and some little kid is gonna be like, mommy, what's on her head? And there's that big giant spider. <sighs> Wish me luck. Okay, little trick here, stay around the outer edges when you're going grocery shopping. It's the healthiest, I swear.
hello. Well, hello there. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi, at no bite. Just got back from the grocery store and the total was $55, which is fairly cheap for everything that I got. Everything was really healthy. Got a lot of protein sources, so that's always gonna be a little bit pricier. If you're looking for an even cheaper option, you can go to your local produce stand to get all of your produce, and it's definitely cheaper, but that also means more stops, and I didn't feel like stopping at another place to get my groceries. So here's everything. I got turkey franks, ground turkey, watermelon chunks, red apple slices, two cucumbers for snacking, and I got hummus, which I'll show you in a second, and then carb balance mission tortillas. I use this to make like healthier pizzas. I just use a lower carb red sauce and some low fat cheese and turkey pepperoni, and it ends up being like a lot of protein. So it's only 60 calories and 19 carbs, but there's 14 grams of fiber in one tortilla. Some lemons for my water and for cooking. Two avocados, little tip here. I tend to like not eat them right away, so this one I'll eat pretty soon, and then this one has some time, so I got it a little bit greener. Cilantro avocado yogurt dressing. It's only 40 calories per two tablespoons, so and it tastes really good. Lightly salted rice cakes. You can add peanut butter, laughing cow cheese wedges on it. You can kind of do whatever with them. Lower sugar oatmeal for the morning. Eggs, mashed sweet potato, frozen chicken. A uh, little tip here, so if you're getting anything that's more expensive, like the meats or your veggies, to get them frozen is a lot cheaper, and honestly, it's really not that bad. I do it all the time if you're on a budget. Just got like a salad trio here. Then I got some turkey pepperoni just to get in some extra protein for snacking and also for the pizza. Roasted pine nut hummus. Light and fit Greek yogurts. These are only a dollar a piece and they're really good. It's mainly protein. I got the caramel apple pie, creme brulee, and tiramisu. They're 80 calories per container. And then, like I said, frozen vegetables. So I got frozen broccoli. And then Green Giant offers a lot of really healthy options for switching out your carbs. So you can have like cauliflower rice or uh, vegetable noodles, things like that. Yeah, so that's everything. Like I said, I still have a few things here that I didn't get. Like lately, my late night snack has been like some sort of chocolate and nut trail mix. Hold on, I'll show you guys. This Second Nature dark chocolate medley mix. And I've also been having fruit with it. Ever since I got back from my vacation, I've been trying to eat a little bit lower carb because my digestion just responds really well to it. So that's why I don't have an insane amount of carbs. And I also think I've discovered that I should not be eating gluten because it makes me blue and just not feel that great. So I've also cut out like breads and gluten and stuff. I just wanted to make this really short just in case you guys are on a budget and you're wanting a healthy grocery shop and you need a little bit of help. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.